Good morning, welcome to the weekend guys and welcome to Cheeky Crypto, I am GB bringing you another video today guys, we're going to take a look at Avalanche's AVAX have a look at the 1 hour, the 1 day and the 1 week time frame see what has went on in the charts and what may be coming next for AVAX if you guys do like this video today, please do give us a like, subscribe, tap on the bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto let's get straight on down to this one today the 1 hour chart or AVAX paired up with USDT and BitGet is the data source for this chart we are looking at right here monitoring obviously these um, moves that have happened over the last week we have seen quite a nice rise for AVAX 8.5% from Monday through to Friday over here fantastic to see it does look like we might be starting to run out of steam on this one. First of all, we'll take a look, a bit, look at it through the lens of smart money concepts. We do still have this week high on the chart. We are trading above the one hour equilibrium. And we have to also appreciate the fact that we do have a strong low over at this previous fifth wave wick low to the downside. We were obviously monitoring this downside movement towards $8.69 to $8.51. And we have pushed on from here. So we can look at the retracement that we were looking to, you know, the levels we were looking to come up to for AVAX between $9.17 and $9.48. You can see we have came right up into this area and we also now have a bullish change of character for the price action for AVAX. A few other things we can note on the charts here. We do have right up here a fair value gap from the previous drop to the downside. Fair value gaps, as we know, are likely to be filled, and we could potentially see this price push on up to fill out this fair value gap in the C wave target we have here between $9.39 and $9.53. And Obviously, not financial advice, guys. Do your own research on these ones. These are just my thoughts and my opinions on what is going on in the charts as I do see them. So, looking over at the stochastics, we can see the one hour stochastic overbought. With the four hour approaching this area, eh, the oversold area is on its way to the downside. So we could be potentially gearing up for a bit of a move again for AVAX. Obviously, it is the weekend. I do expect the the price to kind of trade sideways in between this area. We have highlighted between $9, $9.25, you know, that kind of area. We can't put exact cost on it. But it is the weekend. We don't expect much movements until later on Sunday. We can see currently the, the current price action is testing the 50 EMA. It is looking to push up from here. But with the stochastic being as overbought as it is, it doesn't look like there is much momentum behind the move to the upside. We can look for a breakdown again, most likely towards equilibrium over this weekend. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. <coughs> We could look for a breakdown towards equilibrium over this weekend and maybe into the start of next week. We could also be looking for a push to the upside. Perhaps it's a weekly close. But overall, the target area for this move is $9.39 and $9.53 for AVAX over here on the one hour chart. Moving up, we can take a look at the daily. What is going on in the daily? We've obviously seen a steep drop for AVAX. We have been trading AVAX very well down in the Discord to join guys linked in the description down below go over and check it out well that worth your while so we can see from the start of february this year till, till its current date we have seen a drop of around about 62 percent for avax we've obviously we traded this y wave to the downside what appears to be a y wave to the downside um phenomenally well we've obviously made some really good profits off that one if you guys down in the discord were trading that also massive kudos to you so this overall move, we are obviously looking at this as a potential W, X, Y, X and Z. I'm starting to think this is a separate structure to the downside. We shall get into that. But we'll entertain this one here to start with this W, Y, W, X, Y, X and Z. We were targeting the Z wave between $11.77 and $9 and, sorry, $8 and 67 cent. We can see it's obviously wicked below here as well with the daily um, stochastic as high as it is. We are obviously trading well below the 50 EMA, we are trading well below the 200 EMA also and we also have to appreciate that we do still have a weak low on the chart via smart money concept I'm starting to think this is not the pattern in itself, that it's actually starting a new pattern as a C wave overall which we can map out here what I think this looks like on the chart we could have this initial drop as a W, X and Y the reason it being a W, X and Y is this Y wave was an impulsive move to the downside um, but not triggering the impulsive trigger overall, which would have came at $9.70. We stopped short 
here at $9.98, giving us the W, X, and Y pattern. Within the W wave, obviously, we did have an A, B, and C structure. And inside here, we did have a waves 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, all falling within this drop to the downside on the daily chart. Go down the time frames, obviously, we can map that one out a little bit easier. Then from here, we did obviously see the retracement towards the 50 to 88% area. Obviously, the 50% being $15.07. We worked up here close to the 200 AMA where we have obviously dropped on down from. So I'm looking at this as a potential further drop to the downside, a continuation to the downside for AVAX, where we do zoom out this one just a little bit more and we bring this whole structure here into play. Once we had this break of structure, we tend to see a push to the upside before we see the continuation continue and um, the drop to the downside and we're seeing this happen yet again we've had break of structure break of structure break of structure or continuation of the structure um, on multiple occasions now i do expect this to continue for avax so we map out the structure as an abc to the downside we could target out a potential seven dollars eighty to six dollars and six cent Phenomenal prices for AVAX, I'm sure you guys will agree if you're looking to pick up your um, AVAX in the space. What an opportunity to be getting it under $7.80 potentially, under $9. It's still fantastic value to be getting AVAX there. I think AVAX will go on to do it phenomenally well. So continued downside I do expect for AVAX. One last check we can do here. If we take the whole move of this initial wave to the downside, which we're considering to be an A wave, and we bring this Fib level down to... $15.96, we could be targeting out $7 flat here for AVAX as an ABC, bring us into the lower range of the C wave target area. So this is the, the possibilities I am looking at for AVAX, a move down to round, down towards the $7 area. What a fantastic opportunity to be picking up some AVAX there. Moving over to memberships.cheekycrypto.io, well worth your time to go over and check here guys, there is a 7 day free trial on all plans, no obligations to stay on after the trial finishes, cancel your membership before the trial does finish over at your profile here, very easy to do, no obligation to, to, to stay on here but you know I don't think there's any reason why you would not want to, fantastic value for what you're getting here, twice weekly AMAs, twice weekly live TA sessions, TA on request, only one hour, the four hour and the one day charts. Obviously, all the chat rooms down there as a private Discord. Go over and check it out. You have courses, articles, project reviews, airdrops, news, accumulation zones where we're looking for projects to go in the bear market, a data portal measuring and, uh, sorry, observing all the on chain data for many projects in the space with many more to be added. Guys, it's well worth your while. Go over and check it out. You will not be disappointed. But back to the charts and the fun one for this video today let's take a look at this bear market and the potentials for the next bull market for avax so the structure just now we obviously we're looking at the potential of this being a w x y x and z however we're appreciating the fact that this may not be the structure that is in place and in fact it is merely a, an a b and c to the downside where we could be targeting out a move to around about seven dollars to six dollars fifty we'll leave that one on there just now for descriptive purposes the previous structure that came before also we have to appreciate as an A, B and C and this again reaffirming the potential move down to around about $6.60 so we can take that as a key level, I don't think that's snapped on the right fib, it's 10 cent out, let's bring that down, $6.57, I do apologise there. So we can also appreciate this is the kind of key levels we're looking at for AVAX, I do think we have a fantastic opportunity to see AVAX down to these prices and what a fantastic opportunity we would have in this bear market to be accumulating our bags for AVAX, I for one shall be doing so. So let's talk about the, the bull run, what potential do we have for AVAX? So for reference we are looking at this on the Binance chart now due to it having more price history. When we come back here, we can look at the origin of price for AVAX here on a Binance chart. And we've seen, you know, a good run to the upside, around about the 1,700%, eh, sorry, 17,000%, 1,700% be underwhelming, 17,000% move to the upside. Fantastic opportunity to do this again. I do think it is entirely possible for AVAX. So what we can consider here is this being an A-wave, the full bear market that we are currently in being a B wave and we could potentially look for this next push to the upside as a C wave. Now typically C waves are a one to one of the A wave so we do measure this with the correct tool down to the origin of the bear market 
and we're targeting out around about $6.50 for AVAX in this bear market. We could potentially be looking at a one-to-one -one retracement of $1,123 to $3,789 on the 1.236 Fib level. What a fantastic, fantastic opportunity we could have on our hands here to make a lot of money trading off the back of AVAX. Is this a reality? Is it a possibility? It's very hard to think so. To see a $1,000 AVAX would take a monumental run to the upside. We can see the 882 Fib level, round about $600, as a realistic target, as is the 786 at $372. Don't moonshot these ones, guys. Be realistic. I do think we have the potential to see it back to its all time high of $147. That would bring us back up to the key level here, which is quite ironic is the 618 fib level at 156 dollars so we could limit our expectations for this move but we can obviously highlight this fib uh, this measurement tool i do have on the charts just here a return to the 882 uh, sorry a push up to the 882 around about the 660 dollar level would make avax a 100x project what a fantastic, fantastic site this would be. A 100x off the back of AVAX in the next bull run would be sensational. Is it a reality? It's obviously far too, uh, far too early to say that just yet. Considering we do not have the bottom in yet for this project, I don't believe we do. We are obviously continuing to set new bear market lows for this project. We have to obviously limit our expectations and we can judge the, the targets, the structures of the next bull run, but we can obviously speculate as to what is going on. So key fib levels, the 618 at $156 is obviously going to be a, a realistic target area for myself for pushing AVAX up to. The 882 fib level is $611. That is an outside bet for myself. There is a possibility we could see AVAX do that kind of return. Um, it's obviously fantastic. Um, project and it does have some real world fantastic partnerships um, going on there. So the market is open for AVAX. If AVAX can continue to do well, continue to have these fantastic partnerships and develop these partnerships, there's no reason AVAX cannot be that 100x project. But you guys, let us know your thoughts and your opinions on AVAX in the comments down below. Is it the 100x project you need in your portfolio? What is your target areas for AVAX in this bear market and the Bill Rum, we will wrap that one up there today though guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give us a like, subscribe and tap on that bell. Selecting all notifications, it really does help the channel out. If you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss, make some great gains, stay safe in the space. And until next time guys, have a nice day.